May God teach you how to make profit. Many that you shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. The goodness of God will prosper your labor. The Lord will bless the works of your hand. God will bless your labor. You shall not labor in vain. The Lord will teach you to make profit. God will order your steps and grant your effort resources. I believe I'm talking to someone today. By the saving grace of God, you shall not labor in vain. Your good effort shall not be wasted, shall not be wasted. By the mercy of God, I come in agreement of prayer of faith with you. May God prosper the works of your hand. May God prosper your labor and you shall not labor in vain. I want you to personally confess it with your whole mouth. I want you to say it a minute. I want you to say it with faith. That please God, teach me to prosper. Teach me to make profit. Can you say that in prayer? May God teach you to make profit. May God teach you how to make profit. May God teach you how to make profit. May God teach you how to make profit. And you shall not labor in vain. May God teach you how to make profit. May God lead you how to make profit. May God order your steps how to make profit. And you shall not labor in vain. It is my prayer for you today. May God lay his mighty hand upon your labor. May you see the mighty hand of God upon your doing. May you encounter God regarding your source of daily bread. May your source of daily bread encounter the mighty touch of God. May God prosper you today. May God teach you how to make profit. May God lead you how to make profit. May God lead you how to make profit. I don't know, maybe you, you pay attention to that Isaiah 47. Let me read it again. The book of Isaiah 47, uh, Isaiah 48, please, verse 17. The book of Isaiah 48, verse 17. See, don't say the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, which teacheth thee to make profits, and which leadeth thee by the way thou should go. I always lay emphasis on this phrase. I want to say it again. It's one thing for you to make profits. It's another thing for you to know how to undo the profit, how to manage the profit, how to coordinate yourself around the profit. A lot of people, they encounter huge profits. Numerous or countable, but when you don't know the way to go, the way to manage it, the way to maintain it, one can be telling the other story that gone are those days that I used to have money, gone are those days that I used to have this wealth. I read that account again, please pay attention to it. Don't say the Lord. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Don't say the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, thy God, which teacheth thee to make profit, which leadeth thee by the way you should go. So, one thing is to receive that teaching to make profit. Another thing is to know. The way is for God's leading to be your portion. We teach it thee by the way you should go.
May you enjoy all of this. And I speak it to you in prayer. May God teach you how to make profit and lead you by the way that you should go. Meaning that you are not going to make profit alone. God is going to release his grace unto you how to maintain the profits. You will not waste it. Your profits shall not be wasted. That is what he said there. And I pray with you by the mercy of God. May God bless the works of your hand. May God bless your good labor. May your good labor be mightily blessed by the Lord. May the Spirit of God rest upon your body, soul, and spirit for divine leading. Meaning that you are not just going to make profit alone, but you are going to enjoy divine leading of God. See, those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. See, don't say the Lord I redeem and the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord I go who teacheth thee to make profit, which leadeth thee by the way thou should go. May the Spirit of God rest upon your body, soul, and spirit for divine leading. May God prosper your labor. 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 May God prosper your labor in the name of Jesus. Physical, spiritual, health, finance, poverty will not have well in your life in Jesus' name. And finally, I say unto you, may God bless you and keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May you enjoy divine peace of God on every side in Jesus' name. And the people of God, if you receive it, you say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. God bless you. God 